Good evening and welcome to 60 Seconds and the Final Prayer for Monday, July 20th, 2020. I have a letter from the bishop for you. July 20th, 2020. Dear friends, some months back, your pastor, Father Thomas Bunnell of the Society of Jesus, announced his upcoming departure. I will miss his friendship, his intellectual acumen, and his pastoral heart. His departure is a tremendous loss for us all. But he has left us many gifts through his service as a priest that will endure for years to come. Sad as I am to see him leave, I'm also happy to announce your new pastor, Father Rogelio Gutierrez. Most recently, Father Gutierrez has served as pastor of St. Francis de Sales in Chelan and St. Anne in Bridgeport, as well as the mission of St. Mary in Mansfield. Originally, Father Gutierrez hails from Mexico in the state of Michoacan, but he's no stranger to Sunnyside either. He worked here as a manager for a fruit packing plant here prior to becoming a priest and being ordained for the Diocese of Yakima. So as we thank Father Bunnell for his many years of service, please join me in welcoming Father Gutierrez as well. Key to many of these moves are the departure of Father Bunnell and the extended leave of absence of Father Bill Vogel of the Society of Jesus from Zilla. If he's able to return, he'll be assigned to assist in another parish. The Jesuits are not able to send a replacement for Father Bunnell. I hope you'll pray for more vocation to the priesthood as we assume pastoral leadership of all 40 parishes with only Yakima Diocese clergy for the first time in our history. With every best wish and blessing, yours in Christ, Most Reverend Joseph J. Tyson, Bishop of Yakima. I read that uh, letter at all the masses yesterday, uh, the ones on YouTube and the ones out in the garden. Uh, at this time, the only thing I would add is uh, I'm not leaving today. So when those changes will occur, I think it'll be sometime in September, but we'll see. Okay, so that's what I know. More later. The uh, prayer today is from a, a book I've actually had for decades and I haven't picked it up, but as I was trying to pack some stuff, I rediscovered it. And it's called Listen to Love. And it's a compilation of all sorts of reflections, prayers, poems, uh, and it's uh, put together by a Jesuit, uh, Louis M. Savary, and uh, S-A-V-A-R-Y. And uh, yeah, it's a good book. Uh, it's a different sort of collection. Okay, here we go. So I'm picking one. This was called About the Summer. Summer is a counterpoint of color and candy of, of streets and flowers and people. Summer vibrates with work. Summer's hot and tired and wrinkled. It searches for shade, for a breeze, or for a brook. It waits for the cooling touch of evening. In summer, the spirit of love comes working itself into people's lives. Love in summer is fire and water. It is the sun that penetrates the body and the clouds heavy with rain ready to burst upon the earth. Love in summer is violent, intense. It searches within. People feel things deeply. They spin and weave and knit themselves together. Love in summer can be happy or sad, impish, flaming, cutting, hesitant and confused. It's a time of tension, but love grows in the heat of it all. Listen to love in the summer. And here's a prayer from Catherine Mansfield that I think kind of fits. It's a prayer for health. By health, I mean the power to live a full, adult, living, breathing life in close contact with what I love, the earth and the wonders thereof, the sea, the sun, all that we mean when we speak of the eternal world. I want to enter into it, to be part of it, to live in it, to learn from it, to live in it, to learn from it, to lose all that is superficial and acquired, and to become a conscious, direct human being. I want, by understanding myself, to understand others. I want to be all that I'm capable of becoming so that I may be a child in the sun. Warm, eager, living life. To be rooted in life. 
to learn, to desire to know, to feel, to think, to act. This is what I want. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come to us all, remain forever. Thank you for being with us again. Good night.